Hey there everyone, welcome back to Game Find, and my name is Dave, and today we're going to be taking a look at a series of games, but we're going to start with the first one, and this is in lieu of me getting the fantastic box you see right here from the Kickstarter that Slugfest Games ran, and this is the Red Dragon N5 box that houses all the cards for the rest of the series. But today we're just going to be taking a look at number one, and I'm going to show you the heroes and the drink deck that consists in this set. Now we're just going to be going over the base sets and we might get into the allies and or the drinking expansion later. Now Red Dragon M was one of my first favorites when I got reintroduced into the hobby and it, it's um, a game that I've been long awaiting to review. As you can see I have the whole set here. Um, and it's because this game has take that aspects and I like that and it's kind of in a simplized fo uh, format as well. It's easy to understand and the game art is really nice and the fact that it's kind of kooky and zany um, really gets you into that laughter type theme. This game really doesn't take itself seriously in the best kind of way. It's a card driven game and the theme of the game is uh, you are adventurers slash heroes coming home from a quest well, to the town and you're going to the Red Dragon Inn because that's the bar that they frequent. And if you know heroes and or adventurers, you're not going to just drink in a boring fashion. It's going to be very lively and that's where the theme kicks in and you're ordering rounds of drinks for your players and you're trying to gamble as well and you might punch and hit somebody with a weapon or you know shoot some magic at somebody to lower their fortitude. The, the name of the game is to try to make your other adventurers pass out from getting beat up or drinking too much or lose their last gold in a gambling match. So without further ado, let me show you what comes in the box and then explain how this game works. Okay, so let's go over the cards first. You get your four individual adventure decks here. You have Zock the Wizard, Fiona, Deirdre, and Gearkey. Um, now, all these cards are really nice and thick. You also have your drink deck. Um, and I've sleeved all of them. If you must know what sleeves I use, it is the Clear Ultra Pro. Those are perfect for these cards. So you have those. Uh, the cardboard components are the boards here. This is going to keep track of everything in the game. Very thick and sturdy. Um, and then the cardboard coins. Um, these are nice currency. I like uh, these over a lot of other cardboard components. So those are nicely done. Lastly, we have the glass beads. These would be the only thing that I would gripe about production wise, but they're just there as a marker. So I'm not really worried about that too much. All in all, this game production-wise is really nice. Of course, you get the instructions as well. So let's go into how to set up this game and play it. So you start a game by putting all the boards out and picking your character. Once you've done so, you take the deck and put it on the corresponding spot. Then you will give each person 10 gold, take your alcohol uh, marker, the clear, clear one, and put it on 20, and your fortitude on zero, then you will take the drink deck and pass out one drink card to every player. This sets up the round of drinking for the group. And once you've done that, you're ready to start. So on your first turn, you'll draw up to seven cards, and then you'll be doing these four actions in order, and the board breaks it down really well. So you'll be discarding and drawing back up to seven cards. This is where you can discard cards you don't want, or keep them and draw back up to seven, play an action card, buy drinks, and then drink yourself. It also displays your consciousness. Um, so if ever these two things touch, so say they both have to sit on the 11, you are passed out and you are out of the game. And again, that's a game ender for you. The winning condition is to be the last man standing. You also can lose by getting rid of all your gold, and I'll go over that later. Okay, so the start of the four step phase, you will discard and draw. Every time you have to discard, just put it there in the corresponding spot. And then you will play action cards. Now I'm going to use Gearkey as an example to show you what the cards do. There are a few action cards, but I'm going to show you two. Um, those are the ones with uh, gear key on them and it would say action if you can see right there these are the only ones you can play on the action phase so normally these are going to affect fortitude or have to do with kind of money sense um, but you'll play that and then you only get to do that one action 
Um, once uh, you've done that, you go to the drink stage, well, the buy drink stage. The other action card you can do is the gambling card. Now, once you do this, this is considered your action, and, and then play stops, and the round of gambling commences. Now, um, you, everyone has to ante up unless a card says that you don't have to, but I might get into that later. Uh, but if you're in the round, everyone plays one gold and you're trying to win this gold. You can play corresponding gambling I'm in cards to gain control of the round. See, the last person that played a gambling card that is legitimate has control of this pot. And if everyone else has to pass because they don't have any gambling cards, then the person that played the last one wins. So uh, the gambling I'm in, you're able to play other gambling I'm in cards when you're going around betting. There's also a raise one, which gives you control as well, but also has all the people that are in the pot have to ante. Now you're still considered in the pot if you pass. Um, so remember that. Um, the other game, the other cards that you can play is winning hand. Now, once this is played, no other gambling cards can be played. I raise gambling I'm in or winning hand. The only thing that can beat a winning hand is a cheating card, and you'll see that right up here. And Geerke is pretty good at cheating, so you can play that, and he gains control, and then anyone else can play any type of gambling card after that. Cheating just kind of resets the whole round. So those are the basic actions when it comes to you know playing the gambling I'm in and or your character action cards. So the um, next uh, phase is to buy drinks. Now you don't buy them with your money, don't worry. Um, you just take one card, unless you have a card that says otherwise, and you don't look at it, you just put it in somebody's pile so that was a wine as you've seen but nobody wouldn't know that and I just put it there um, it's important to note if you don't have any drinks in your pile and you go to drink you lose an alcohol content basically you're sobering up um, so once you buy a drink then you drink yourself so you drink the top card and you follow the instructions and it says take two will gain two alcohol content I would just move it down to 18 like that and then you just discard it to the drink pile well the discard drink pile then your turn is up and you are left with the cards that you have in your hand there are some cards that are going to be counters let me go over that right now so there are some cards to say anytime you can play these on another person's turn or you can play them on your turn this is tip the winch uh, a player of your choice must pay one gold to the end so that you can try to drain people there there are sometimes cards that have conditions so you're going to have to read when that is but they would let you know normally um, this is where the take that really comes into play because you can do combos and go back and forth. Other people might counter your counter, but that is how these sometimes cards work as well. So those are the basic cards and how the game plays out. You'll continue to do this until everybody um, but one loses their gold or passes out or gets, get, gets beat up so far that they just cannot stay awake any longer. And the final adventure wins. Now... I'm going to go over the drink deck and show you some of the cards and go over some of the heroes as well because that is where the game really shines. Okay, so the drink deck. It starts with the uh, variety of alcohol content that you gain. One with the dark ale, one with the light ale. Again, I love the art. It's very simple but something very charming about it, even with the drinks. Uh, the wine, you get two alcohol content. Then the elegant elven wine, you get you know three content. Then the big whammy the dragon breath ale it's fire uh, that's four content then you start to get in some of the kookier one this has to be a dare dirty dishwater you lose a fortitude um, again a dare uh, troll swill um, lose a fortitude gain one alcohol content if you're a troll gain two alcohol content because you don't mind drinking that uh, the Wizard's Brew gained two fortitude and uh, two alcohol content, so you're moving the scale a little bit. Then you have the Holy Water, you gain two fortitude, so you're getting spirit. Um, and the Orc Rod Gut, Orcus Rod Gut, 
or rot to guts i lose four no lose two fortitude if you're an orc gain two alcohol content again they like that stuff all the way to water you know you just have to start to hydrate yourself and then they have coffee we're cutting you off lose one alcohol content then you start to get to the chasers i didn't mention these before but if you have a deck that consists of multiple drinks if you get a chaser you have to flip the next one if you get another chaser you have to flip the next one and you have to suffer all the consequences of the drinks piling up so there's a light ale one one alcohol content plus the next card then there's a dark ale again the same thing the wine is two alcohol content plus the next card then the elven elven wine three alcohol content with a chaser uh you know of course and then we get to the two cards that have a little bit of text on them round on the house reveal the top card of the drink deck each player including you takes the effect if the drink uh, event card is revealed discarded without taking so you basically everyone has to drink that round and this is a drinking contest you basically do the same thing as round the house but the person with the highest alcohol content um, wins a pot of gold that everyone has to throw into so they all have to take a drink card and throw gold in the pile the person with the highest so if you get the flame and breath yeah, of the dragon it's not so bad because you're winning some gold in the process so now let's get into what you're most excited about the heroes all right so we're going to start with fiona here now this insert here comes in the fifth edition box i'm going to use it because it's a good reference but this doesn't come with the game uh, fiona is uh, it says she is more than capable of dishing out and taking serious physical abuse and her formidable uh, Constitution allows her to drink a lot as well But the bad is she doesn't keep track of her gold so well So she can take a lot of drinking and abuse, but she might get knocked out by gambling um, I'm gonna go over all the cards that go that go in every player's deck just to get them out of the way so I don't have to mention them. You have the went bring some drink for my friends. This is where you can pay one gold and, and instead of buying one drink, you get to buy three and pass them out. And you can give them to whoever you want. Uh, that's the first one. And the next one here is the winch thinks you should stop playing with the drinks. This negates anything that you're trying to add alcohol content or mess with the drinks. I'll get into that a little later. Uh, and everyone has their gambling cards, winning hands, I raise. Uh, this one here is the worst though. Uh, oh, I guess the winch thought that was her tip. This ends all gambling. I didn't go over this when we were going over gambling, but this just says the winch took all the money, stopped gambling, and this is where somebody will be vindictive and play this when they're out of gambling cards. So that is not the most loved card in everybody's deck. So those cards are in all Avengers decks. I'm just gonna go over them once. So here are Fiona's actual player cards, um, and the flavor of the titles of the cards are, is really neat, and you have to read them out loud when you play them. So this one here is sorry about that. I just instinctively aim for the head. Uh, this is a sometimes card that allows you to knock two fortitude off another, pl another player. Everyone has one of these cards, is I don't think so, and this negates a sometimes card so it also negates a I don't think so card as well so you can have a whole bunch of those being played at once and then she just starts to take off her armor uh, this one is hey no more chain mail bikini jokes well I mean put your armor back on then I don't know uh, pick a player and they lose two fortitude uh, and that goes on like that and just the uh, art on it is really nice I'm not gonna go over every card but she is good at drinking and abusing people as well and taking a beating herself so that is fiona and now let's go over another adventurer so zock the wizard is next his text here says zock is good at card tricks and hence he is good at gambling his master of uh, magical spells keep him well protected whether he is roughhousing drinking or gambling so he's an all-around player he can dwindle away on anything but he has some kind of counter to pretty much everything as bad is that rabbit is seriously insane I, I read it wrong but I mean seriously Pookie is his name and he is even an ally and he might hurt Zock but he's got really big teeth so this video is running a little long I'm only gonna go over a few cards as I told you before that Pookie has really big teeth and, and he has a lot of tricks 
hitting people and defending themselves. So each other player take, loses one fortitude. Oh no, not again. Pookie is on a drunken rampage. Again, the humor comes out in the game. Oh no, Pookie, that's my hand. This is where he'll lose fortitude, but he ignores uh, other stuff. Um, not now, I'm meditating. Again, this is one of his evasion cards again there it is again i told you not to distract me pick another player they lose two fortitude this is one of his tricks this time we'll use dice so a little fourth wall breaking take control of a round of gambling that's one of his cheating cards and what's that up your sleeve so that's uh, pookie actually being nice so that is zock in a nutshell let's go over another adventure so the next one is Gear Key the Sneak, and his flavor text um, is uh, good. Gear Key is so good at gambling that people suspect that he might be cheating. And then the bad is, yeah, he's cheating. Uh, so basically, he is gonna drain people via gambling. He also can take a little bit of damage, but the guy cannot drink. So remember that when you're playing Gear Key. Let's go over some of his cards. So why not start with cheating? Oops, I dropped my cards. This takes control of a gambling round. Uh, this is ev evading gold um, when you have to pay or a drink. Hey, where'd the little guy go? He's a snake, that Geerky. And then he uh, also steals. Grab a coin while no one is looking. So you take a coin there. Um, I know you think you won, but it's another cheating card. Uh, Dump it on the floor. This is him evading drinks. What's that up your sleeve? This is another kind of cheating, taking control of a gambling round. I'm winning, honestly. Another cheating, taking control of a gambling round. Lucky for me, I had this antidote brewed up. This is a ignore drink. And the last one that I'm gonna show you is a fortitude one. How did this get stuck in my back? Pick up another player, they lose two fortitude. So that's Gear Key in a nutshell. The guy can't drink, he can dish out a little bit of damage and take a little bit, but he will steal everything you have. The last one that we have here is Deirdre the Priestess. Now, her flavor text is, Good, the goddess keeps Deirdre protected from harm. Um, bad, the goddess protection does not help against alcohol. Deirdre is a cheap date, and they aren't lying. If you cannot control your alcohol content, you will lose via that way, but you'll be able to keep your gold and not be harmed with Deirdre. So let's go over some of her cards. So the first one here makes everyone drink. Let's toast the goddess. So you take a drinking card from everyone's pile and everyone drinks, even yourself. Uh, water into wine. This reduces the alcohol content of a drink by two, but it can't be no lower than one. So that's her you know, helping herself not drink. I'm saving this money for the poor. This is where you can get out of gambling. Again, if you pass in gambling, you're still in, but if you play a card like that, you're completely out and you just sit out for the round. Sorry, I have to pray now. This is another ignore the gambling. And another one that we have here is you look like you need this more. This is again where you're passing off a drink. She does have some cards that will help her alcohol, but not many. And this one here is stop being silly, ignore an action or sometimes card that affects your fortitude. My goddess protects me. I have fortitude card protection again. Oh no, I think that growth on your arm might be a mummy rot. Um, pick another player. This is one of her action cards. Lose fortitude. Uh, my goddess heals me. This is the only deck that heals. And uh, this is where you gain two fortitude. And she has a few of those. Not now. These men are interested in my religion. This allows her to get out of a drink or a gambling. The last one that I have here, my goddess made me to it. Uh, fortitude lost in another player. So that is Deirdre. Uh, some might say that she is overpowered. I've seen her win more often than not when she's played. So that was all the heroes and all the drinks in the drink deck. I know that was a mouthful, but the other installments aren't going to be as long because I'll be able just to get in to the heroes and the drinks of the actual box. Now let me give you my thoughts, give this game a grade, and tell you why I like this game, because I do. And that was the very first Red Dragon and base set. Um, and this is a good starter one, so is number two, so I recommend going out to get one of those two sets to begin your Red Dragon Inn experience. And as we always do here on Game Vine, I'm going to be giving this game a percentage or a letter grade. I went with a 81%, which is a B, and it's because this game is just fun. And that's what games are put on this earth to do, right? Is to accomplish fun. That's half of the experience. Then you go for, like, the um, mechanisms and the gameplay. 
The only gripe that I would have is player downtime. If you're playing with a large amount of players, it could take forever before you get your turn. And there has been cases where you've been, that I've seen people get knocked out in the second round of play. And I know what you're thinking. You can do a drinking game to this every time you take a drink. Though I haven't done that because I'm not much of a drinker myself. That is an option. So with all that being said, the components are great, the gameplay is simple and easy to pick up, and has some teeth and some strategy, though there's not too much, just so you can experience the fun gameplay. Also, the art is great. And if you like card games and you like the style of, you know, you think you're gonna play a spell on me, but I'm gonna play this on you type thing, this is right up your alley, which is coincidentally my alley. So that was Red Dragon in one in a nutshell. I hope you enjoyed this review of it. And thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe this video. And keep an eye out for uh, number two, three, four, and five in the future. Because I'm going to try to get these done in you know a timely manner next to each other. So you can go and see which set of heroes you like best. Though I don't have the allies yet, I will get to those sooner or later. And so the next time that I see you, everyone, I've been Dave from GameVine. Have a great rest of your day and a great time with all that you play. You're already here on the GameVine. Now go get yourself a drink.